Hi, welcome to GearWire.com. We're taking a look at the Electroharmonics Wiggler. It's a tremolo pedal, also has a chorus mode in it, and it's run by two tubes, which is pretty nice. Let's take a look at the pedal. All right, we got a nice little sticker. Uh, Electroharmonics, this looks like a catalog. Yep, this has all of their effects pedals and accessories. And short, short but sweet instructions. Just a two-sided sheet and registration card. It's important, I, I would say, uh, especially for a pedal that has tubes in it. All right, nicely wrapped. All right, comes with an adapter. Um, this is a special adapter, I happen to know made particularly for the Wiggler. This is actually not an AC to DC adapter, it's an AC to AC transformer. As you can see the output is 12 volts AC, 1000 milliamps, and it has this proprietary connector. All right, let's unwrap this pedal. Right under this black grill, the most prominent fe feature you notice is uh, these two 12AX7 tubes. Those are what will drive the effect. Um, we also have bypass LED, true bypass, um, five knobs, rate LED, which is nice. Here's where you would plug that proprietary AC adapter. That's the only way you can power this pedal. And then on the top, standard instrument quarter inch input and output. And that's the Electroharmonics Wiggler out of the box. All right, we're back, and we have the Wiggler all plugged in, ready to go. I'm playing an American-made uh, standard Telecaster through a JCM 2000 uh, half sack from Marshall, and that's mic'd up with the Shure SM57. Let's see what kind of sound we're getting when the pedal is not activated. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn it on. Uh, this has a volume knob on it. We turned it down just slightly because the tubes do add a good amount of gain. So let's see. So not only are you getting sort of a tremolo effect with that, you're also getting a little bit of tube warmth added to it. Good if, you, if you're playing through a solid state amp and you want a little more warmth. Uh, it's pretty fast, this, the rate knob over here, this is pretty fast, pretty fast rate to be straight up. So let's turn this down a little bit, so you can get more of a classic sort of tremolo sound. That's about where I would set it, or pretty close to where I'd set it most of the time. You can go pretty low though, where it's changing only once or twice a second. You can barely hear that with the intensity where it is, so let's turn that up. That's pretty darn slow. Could be usable. With the intensity up, let's sweep this up and see how fast it could go. See, that's, that's actually fast enough to start creating its own oscillation. I don't know if you can hear that but there's a very low sort of oscillation, so let's keep the intensity down and see about how fast this is. That's fast to the point of not being able to hear it, so let's turn it back down. That's almost in the realm, it's just sort of a warbly tone almost in the realm of what we call ring modulation, but not all that uh, usable in my book. That's pretty much where I like it. So, the other knobs on here, we have a vibrato tremolo switch. This is a detented switch, so it'll stop in two places. And another detented switch, the mode switch. We see four modes here, lose, ham, AC, and whirl. Right now we're on the lose setting. 
all the way up. Um, if we switch that and keep it, keep it on tremolo, this is the lose, first of all. Change it to the ham setting. It's a little bit brighter. AC. Not an incredible difference there, very slight. And Wurlitzer. I think that's my favorite. It's the, the most um, non-invasive, I, I would say. Let's check out the other settings. There's a vi the vibrato setting. This is sort of a chorus-y setting. Uh, usually in a, in a pedal like this, a vibrato will probably mean where the no that the note is actually changing uh, or vibrating. This is just sort of a chorus. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Getting a nice sort of modulate, lightly modulated tone. Let's see if we turn up the intensity. So sort of a rotating speaker effect almost when you turn up that intensity. Let's check the AC mode in vibrato. Let's switch back. Seems to be a bit more depth to that one. Not as uh, subtle as the Wurlitzer ham. That sounds almost like a classic univibe sort of tone on that ham setting. And the lose. Well, in some cases, you could actually probably fool me that that is a univibe. It sounds very much like the univibe. Let's listen to it on a little higher setting. You definitely can't make the Univibe go this fast. So that's something it's got over it. So yeah, that's the Electroharmonics Wiggler pedal. Thanks for checking it out with me at GearWire.com.